Hey, I'm Claire. Welcome to my Slim and Well vlog. This week, I've just gone a bit AWOL. I am totally off the rails, so let's sort that out. Hi, I'm Claire Howard. Welcome back. If you haven't been here before, then a big welcome to my Slim and Well vlogs. This week, I am focusing on what to do when you get derailed. It's been a super busy week for me, following a super busy weekend. I am, I've been totally disorganised, unorganised, stressed, busy, just what's the word, overwhelmed with life this week. I have not been on track. I've had a week off and it would be very, 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 very easy for me to continue on that path, but I'm not going to. So this vlog is all about how to get back on track when you've been derailed. If you didn't see, I did have a weekend working away. I went to Olympia Beauty and then the week coming back from that has just been pure chaos. And I am not even going to pretend that I have followed any sort of Slim and Well plan. It has just been a bit of a disaster week, to be honest. I I was really um, on it and really on top of everything going into my weekend away, but what I failed to do was plan my food and my shopping for when I got back. So when I arrived back from the show, I got back at like half past 10, 10 p.m. on the Monday. Tuesday was straight back at work, then straight to after school clubs and an after school party. So I didn't get home till about 7, at 7 p.m. that night. That ended up being a takeaway because I also came home to an empty fridge and there was just nothing. And yeah, by half past seven, I'd be tired from the weekend and getting home from work and that party, I was just done. Then Wednesday, again, was straight back into school and work. Still no shopping in the fridge. Then Wednesday evening, there was something else. Um, that was, yeah, kickboxing for the boys after school. Um, so another late night. I can't remember what I had, but I did cook something, but it wasn't on plan. It was something quick, easy and convenient. Actually, that was taco boats, so that wasn't so bad. I slipped home and put the taco boats in, yeah. Thursday was my day off, so I did catch up with a few things on Thursday. Nothing diet related. I think I did get a shop in, but not a great one. Friday, again, full day at work, and Saturday I was off, so that's been good. We've just had the weekend. Yesterday was my first day, kind of back on plan. I made... I don't think I had breakfast and I, I went to Lidl's and done a bit of shopping and I made a beef bourguignon. It was briefly based on a Slim and World recipe that I found online. I was doing it in my slow cooker, so I just air fried that beef off and popped that in. So it was sin free apart from the corn flour. I used three teaspoons of corn flour just to thicken up the sauce. That was really, really nice. I will add that on here because it was really tasty and definitely one coming into slow cooker season that I would recommend trying. I have just done a big shop for next week and I have done a food plan. I need to pick up some bits for lunch. I need to stock up on my Slim and Well meals and I need to get back on it because it would be very easy for me to snowball that bad week into this week. You know, it only takes that week for you to get a little bit. Oh, I did have a Chinese takeaway as well on Saturday evening. It's been a bit stressful with the house and me being away and we're both a bit tired and we're both a bit grumpy and it just makes it that much more difficult to do. We've had another hiccup with the house this morning, so we're all a bit stressed. Mark's gone off very stressed. We're supposed to be, the roof is supposed to be going on and I don't know if that's gonna be happening today now because they have come across another problem. So it's just, you know, life's up and downs. There's always stuff going on and it's very easy to get derailed. And that is what we're not doing. We are not getting derailed and we are not going off. My target, I wanted that seven pounds off before Christmas. I am really determined I'm gonna hit that. So my shopping's coming later. Like I say, I need to pick up a couple of other things. It is half term this week, which also throws a bit of a spanner in the works. But Mark and the boys are eating at Mark's mum's tonight. So I've just got some salmon that I'm defrosting. I'm going to have some salmon with, I haven't even, I don't even know what I'm having with it. I've got some salad and bits coming. So I'll probably have some salad and noodles or something exciting like that. I've got some peppers. Yeah, more likely peppers, onions, stir fried a bit with some noodles. But that is it. So this video, this vlog, I'm going to do a few days. I'm going to try and get most of this week in. So I might do this week and split it into two. I'll see how the video in goes and how much stuff we get on camera. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys through the week with me because I really feel I need the extra help because at the moment I have got the sweetest tooth and I just want to eat. It's a bit of a winter thing, a little bit of a hormonal thing as well. I do, I do struggle with my food around certain certain times of the month. Yeah, and that hasn't helped with the tiredness, stress and busyness either. So yeah, we're focusing on what to do when you get derailed and get them back on track. 
Hey, so I'm just in the middle of cooking my dinner. I've got home from work, sorted a few bits out, put the shopping away, and the boys are out for dinner and it's just me at home. I've got some salmon. I'm now gonna pop that in my air fryer. I've got a jacket of potato. I was gonna do salmon with noodles and kind of peppers and stuff, but I've got a jacket of potato in. I think I'm gonna do a bit of salad and I've got some coleslaw in the fridge and I just really fancy some of that. So this whole meal is revolving around the coleslaw I have in my fridge. What have I had to eat today? I just took some of that um, Lidl's tortilla to work and some of that. That's three sins for half of that, which I think is well worth it. I could easily make something like that sin free if I had an oven hog. Um, a tortilla or like a veg omelette, that sort of thing is something that I make quite often when I've got the use of my oven. I'll just salt and pepper in my salmon. That's gonna go in the air fryer. I'm now gonna also take my jacket potato out of the microwave, just giving it five minutes in there. And I also like to give that a little spray with my fry light and give it some salt and pepper. It comes up lovely and crispy out of the air fryer. So yeah, that is me tonight. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I could eat a house. I'm so hungry. It's just, just a hungry time. Um, no particular reason. And this is why I need to get myself back on the plan. I need to get some eggs boiled, I need to get my rice pudding made and just have all that food on backup because I currently don't have that, which is why I'm reaching for all of the wrong things when I am reaching for it. I have snacked on a couple of baby bells since I've been home, no problem with that, and um, because you can have three of them, pick hex A. Apart from that today, I've only had that half, half a tortilla from Lidl's, which is three cents and two, um, Two hi-fi bars, that's it. That's all I've had today. So I haven't had a lot to eat, which is probably why I'm hungry. And that is one of the mistakes I make when I'm not planning food is I don't eat and then I get myself too hungry and then I want to binge eat. I just want to eat everything. I don't have the patience to wait for my food to cook. So I have done quite well to just have those two baby bell, walk the dogs, put some washing away, done all the usual house rubbish. Um, there's still more that needs doing. It's Joshua's birthday tomorrow. So very excited for that. We're going out pumpkin picking. I'll add a little bit of pumpkin pick into the video because it's nice to get a bit of seasonal stuff in, isn't it? So I'm just going to wait for my dinner to cook and then I'll show you what I end up with. I'm going to pour myself a Pepsi Max because I am, like I say, just so hungry at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me, whether it's the change in weather, the darkness, I don't know. But I'm going to pour myself a Pepsi Max just to occupy my hands and just give myself something while I'm waiting for this dinner to cook. I am just preparing it on dinner in the slow cooker. I've just put in there chicken breasts and this tandoori masala powder, a bit of garlic powder. I'm now going to chop up an onion and pop that in also. Just going to pop some passata in there as well. And I'm going to leave this on low because we are now heading out for the day. Good evening. Just out walking the boys. Doggy boys, not kitty boys. All boys in my house. So we've been, it's Joshua's birthday today. We have been out, we've been pumpkin picking. Obviously it chose today to be rainy all day. So the pumpkin field farm, so, so muddy. But it was good fun. Um, Joshua had a bit of face painting. The boys decorated cookies. We picked and carved our pumpkins. However, <laughs> It was raining, so we didn't stay and have food at Ha Ha's and we did stop off and get a McDonald's and my sisters were having a McDonald's and the kids were having a McDonald's. So I caved and I had a McDonald's too. So Philly cheesesteak burger meal, not great. My chicken tikka that I left in the slow cooker is smelling absolutely awesome. Harrison's decided to abandon us and stay out tonight and Joshua, told me he doesn't want curry. I've got some pesto pasta cooked, so I'll do that for him. 
So I am gonna pop half of that into a lunchbox for Mark and I to have another night and then we'll have some tonight. I don't want a massive lot of it because I'm really not that hungry after that McDonald's. It was at half one, it's now coming up for half five and I still don't feel particularly hungry, but I will have some. Um, I'm gonna say yeah so I'll pack that up for another night because it looks absolutely awesome and such a simple great dish for this time of year so I'll show you what that looks like when it's plated up and that's just about how today's gone so still not perfectly getting back on track it is that food prep that I need to do lunches are the bugbear when it's half term and you're out and about really need to take some with me but again not 100% sure what's going to be going on tomorrow so we'll see so here is my chicken tikka in the slow cooker. I have just stirred, oh sorry, that's all steamed up. I've just stirred some of my Barge Total fat-free yogurt through and that looks absolutely delicious. Half of it I've popped in a pot here. This hasn't got the yogurt in and I'm gonna cool that down and freeze it. Mark and I'll have that next week, but this is, it tastes absolutely gorgeous. So I'm pretty excited to have that. Just made up a couple of little salad plates and my chips up in the air fry cooker now. And that's what we're having for tea tonight. I have just come to weigh in. It's a Thursday morning weigh in at a different group to my regular group. I'm just standing in line and I saw these posters on the wall. I thought they had some really useful information, sin values and alternatives for snacks and buffet plates coming up to Christmas and also your drink sins. I thought they'd be handy. You can just pause and obviously zoom in if you want to see the sin values and the information. So I thought I'd share those on here. So I've just been to weigh in this morning. I was gonna skip it because I've had a bad week and it wasn't gonna be good, but I went anyway. Half a pound I have put on, which to be honest, I'm pretty pleased with. It hasn't been a great week. I haven't particularly been on plan. I keep meaning to get back on track, but things keep getting in the way. So yesterday was a cinema day. I'm not even gonna tell you what I had. We had cinema snacks anyway. I'm now cooking my lunch. So my lunch is on plan. I'm using some of the chicken tikka that I made the other day in the slow cooker, which was really, really yummy. And I've just prepared a small salad and a jack of potatoes in the air fryer and that's what I'm having. I have just, excuse, we are very upside down in the house at the moment, there's just stuff everywhere, my life is chaos. I've just put rice pudding in my slow cooker. I absolutely love that. I make it using the Alpro No Sugars almond milk, pudding rice, there's some sweetener and some vanilla essence in there. That is all that has gone in there. I'll work the sins out and put that on the screen because it is amazing. It's a real good winter warmer. I've made um, a little short clip, which I'll probably, I'll add in here actually, of um, some toppings that I have been putting on my rice pudding and they are so delicious. It's a real good either to take to work or have as an after dinner evening treat. It really is scrummy yummy. So I will include that in this video. And I'm now gonna make a leek and potato soup when my rice pudding is done for this evening's tea with a cheese and ham toasty, which I got the idea I'm gonna try and make it in my air fryer from the air fryer book. So I will add that to finish this video off. And then hopefully I'll be back next week with something much more inspiring and much more on plan. I do apologize for my chaoticness this week, but that's just sometimes how it is. Look at that, this chicken has been so awesomely delicious. I'm literally in love with it. It will definitely be a regular on my weekly cooking list. My soup and leeks are bubbling away in here. There's also a ham stock cube. I might chop some ham up and put it in. I didn't have a veg stock cube, so I put a ham stock cube in. I'm now gonna get my blender, blitz that a bit and see if I need any more liquid and stock in it. So here's my soup. I literally just done it with a masher. I mean, if you like it more blended than that, you can do it with a blender or whatever, but I like mine a little bit lumpy bumpy. I've added a little bit more pepper to taste and that is ready for a bit later on. Here's my rice pudding. Doesn't look too appetizing in there, but I'll put it in a lunch box. I'll separate that later into separate portions. And I've made my cheese toasty with 40 grams of reduced fat cheddar and some ham. This is my Aldi everyday essential loaf and it's going in the air fryer. So 
So here it is, soup and an air fried toasty. That looks pretty tasty. Finally getting a little bit more on track today. Not that much on track, I'm just having a coffee. Just arrived at work. Uh, today I have brought in my leek and potato soup. See, prep is key. Had that soup in the fridge, so easy, into my flask, ready to eat today. And that will really fill me up at lunchtime as well. I've just got some raspberries and blueberries in here. I did bring one of my protein yogurts, the Kavag ones, but then um, I realised it was out of date. So that's gone in the bin. It's quite a bit out, well, a few 10 days out of date. So that shows how off track I've been because usually I order those and they're gone out of my fridge because I have one every day and haven't eaten one for ages because I've been eating all the wrong stuff. But I'm getting back on it, got my banana, got my hydrate flask. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something, you know, when you get that stuffy head feeling. Has been a busy week with the kids off, really good week. We've done some really cool stuff. We went to the circus yesterday, we've done pumpkin picking and we've done the cinema and watched Trolls. If you haven't watched the new Trolls movie, it is amazing. Absolutely love that. So that was our week. I'm going to get this video up as soon as possible because I'm aware that for the last two weeks I've missed my Friday seven o'clock. I know you guys probably don't expect it, but it's kind of a little deadline that I set for myself to upload every Friday at seven o'clock. And I was really on the ball, but it's just been obviously we've going away that weekend and then half term. It's been very, very hectic. I'd like to say that hecticness is going to stop, but obviously we're still in the middle of this renovation project and we are going away we've got joshua's birthday party this sunday and then next weekend we're going away to portugal for the weekend so that is going to be really really busy too so i want to have a banging week leading up to portugal because obviously i'm going away for a weekend that is not going to be slim and world friendly I put half a pound on at my way this week which i was pretty impressed with because it hasn't been a great week i'm just going to put that down to the fact that even though i have been eating some rubbish stuff i really haven't been eating much else because i just haven't had time to do the three meals a day or whatever it's just been grabbing stuff as and when so i hope you've enjoyed the vlog this is a bit of a higgledy pickledy up and down one um i promise i'm gonna get more organized again and I'll be back with another one next week. I'm gonna get some shopping done over the weekend to make sure I am prepped up to the max with my food. Last night for dinner, I made my leek and potato soup and then I made a toasty in the air fryer. Honestly, that toasty in the air fryer was amazing. I would say it came from the air fryer book, but the air fryer book has got an amazing recipe for a toasty with um, roast vegetables and hummus. I really wanna try that. But I literally just took the actual putting it in the air fryer section from that book, not the recipe. And I done cheese and ham in mine. It was really, really nice. So well worth trying a toasty in the air fryer. Toasty and soup is probably going to be a new weekly staple. That is a really nice, easy dinner. And I loved it. So anyway, if you enjoyed the vlogs, excuse the state of me. Like I say, so disorganised this week. I've got hardly any makeup on. My hair's a mess but it doesn't matter yeah if you've enjoyed the vlogs then please do press that subscribe button and stay with me don't forget to tell me how you're getting on too because i love to hear from you guys that's what it's all about and i'll see you in the next one bye